Yoga is for everybody and one has to really understand the true essence of yoga. It is beyond cultures, it's beyond rituals. This is an inner journey and the more richer this inner journey, the better you live on the outside. The word yoga is a Western word, but uh, the real Sanskrit word is yuj, which means addition, union. 4,000 to 5,000 years back, the Indic Valley Civilization is where yoga came into being, and then the teachers took them to the different parts of the world. Namaste is saranda. So I always like to start my session by bowing to my students because I always learn as much as they learn from me. Close your eyes softly. I try to bring them to the present moment of being very alert and aware and being present. And become aware of your breath. The business of the mind is always in the past and the future, which is influenced by the exposure of the senses to the outside world. And now bringing your awareness to the eyebrow center. We shall chant Om three times together. The word Om is the primordial sound of the universe. A stands for the conscious state of being, U the subconscious, and N the unconscious, the vibration that it creates can have a very positive effect to all the layers of the body. Mudras are psychic arrangements of body and hands, uh, which can direct the pranic energy, the cosmic energy, to different parts of the body. We are made of the five elements, space, air, fire, water, and uh, earth. And all the fingers stand for different elements. For example, the fire element is overactive, so you would balance it with the water element. So you would hold these two and uh, meditate on it. The path of yoga is coming together of mind, body, spirit. The individual spirit coming together with the universal whole. Aham Brahma Asmi, meaning whatever is outside is within. So one has to experience what is within to be able to live fully outside.